Well, welcome to Technology and Education Today. I'm Richard Smith. And I'm Caroline Crawford. And we are here at South by Southwest EDU with Ron Reed of South by Southwest EDU. And you always change your title. Executive producer. <laughs> Executive producer. Yeah, thanks. It's good to see you all. Thank you. Uh, this is, I think, the third time we've come to South by Southwest EDU. It's become really larger. What is the general oh, purpose of, of South by Southwest EDU? The general purpose of South by Southwest EDU hasn't really changed since our, our first conversation, which I appreciated three years ago, and again, a pleasure to visit with you. South by Southwest EDU endeavors to celebrate educators like the rock stars they are, the same way South by Southwest celebrates musicians and actors with our film festival and music festival, new media inventors with Interactive. We're really trying to lend our brand and shine a light on the spectacular work that goes on every day in classrooms from early learning learning centers and informal learning centers through college campuses and beyond. I've been particularly impressed by some of the um, presentations here. Truly, absolutely. And the interesting group of people that you're pulling together, whenever people go to conferences or meetings, you're always talking to the same people. Everybody talks the same talk. It's so intriguing here because everyone has a different conversation, but we're all pulling together into very similar areas of focus. Yeah, so it's how, how really you, great. How, how, how were all these people selected to present? It's, well, so, so really two questions. The diversity of audience I really appreciate it's and we brilliant. work a lot on that and so I'd like to touch upon that but from a content standpoint we have an open environment called Panel Picker mm -hmm. that we invite uh, the community to submit content for consideration and it's been spectacular. Uh, we've used it across the other South by Southwest festivals. This year we had over 800 session proposals submitted wow. for us to consider mm -hmm. uh, and, uh, and we have a capacity for maybe 200 hundred sessions uh, this year. So we did a really smart thing. We expanded an advisory board uh, dramatically. Each of the advisory board members went through and evaluated I think 50 to 75 proposals. They evaluated them on the basis of the creativity of it, the relevance of it, the quality of the speakers, and it was really their rating and evaluation that sort of helped give us an opportunity to say, okay, amongst these high rated sessions, how do we, how do we now build a conference? And, and in terms of the audience, that's something we spent a lot of time thinking about. Like you, I mean, I, I've had a career where I've been to principal meetings meetings and superintendent and professor meetings of this sort or another and, and they're all important and they serve a great purpose. Absolutely, but it's the same story over and over again. We're really trying to convene all the stakeholders so you know parents and students and teachers from K-12 through college and beyond, policy makers, entrepreneurs, business and industry folks, there's a big ecosystem of energy about education and we, we, we seem to have tapped into it and I think that's really what's propelled the growth. We're, we're fond of saying we just we're we're just playing host to a, a very passionate and energetic community and it's uh, it's an honor to do so. I love how you describe it as an energy because truly that's what it feels like around here is a creative energy and innovative energy everyone is interested in speaking about what they find impassioning and truly that's what's going on we are all impassioned about education and how do we offer the best possible education to our learners as well as professional development for our educators. It's one of, one of the things we're so proud of, and, and it's not something we can control, but uh, we had a speaker last year, uh, Kathy Casserly. She's uh, CEO of Creative Commons, does spectacular work, uh, and her comment was the, uh, that there's a forward leaningness and there is an optimism about the South by Southwest EDU community that, again, you, you can't, uh, you, you can't build or you can't create. It's just a function of the event. You know, the South by brand contributes to that. Austin, Absolutely. Texas contributes Absolutely. to that. Um, but ultimately... And all of your hard work. Well, I appreciate that. to that, that. I may I say. It. Well, it, and, and I, have to, I have to quickly say, I've got a, a small staff of young, sharp, energetic uh, folks. I mean, we're we're dragging right now, but we are on such a high uh, in terms of this event and the feedback and the response. It's it's a blast. Your but staff are really not, neat people. This is not a, a, a singular event, though. We have conference sessions, and then there's something called <laughs> Launch EDU. Oh, so there exciting. Are, there are a lot of um, 
vendor types. Can you give us an explanation? Yeah. Young, innovative ideas coming yeah. forward. Yeah. This year, uh, well, well, a couple of things. Again, trying to convene the ecosystem. We debuted last year an entrepreneurs program for uh, startups in the uh, ed, ed education arena. Uh, we've expanded that program dramatically, and we've got 24 kind of bleeding edge startups that are right. pitching, uh, a dozen of them from K-12, a dozen of them in higher education. So to use a little school vernacular, we'll have a bake-off and they'll go through a series of rounds <laughs> of, of, of pitches. Uh, at a super smart advisory board who's kind of looking at them in terms of is their solution vibrant, is it viable, are they scalable, do they have good management, is it something I'd invest in. We, we get down to where we have a couple of winners, one in K-12, one in higher ed, and then in true South by fashion we throw a big honking party, we announce the winners, <laughs> we celebrate them. Frankly, everybody's a winner. It's all about just exposure and, and trying to, trying to give, uh, shine a light on the folks that are doing good work. But to your earlier point, yeah, we've got a bunch of things going on this year. We've worked really hard to, in addition to a conference, which we think of as concurrent sessions and keynotes and right. distinguished speakers, workshops, that sort of stuff. We've, uh, we've expanded to be what we refer to as the South by EDU conference and festival. So in the festival arena, Launch EDU is an element of that. We have a policy forum of uh, folks talking about pressing issues in public and higher ed. This year we're debuting a film festival called EDU Film where we're screening uh, 10 movies uh, down the street at a theater. We've got a maker space working here uh, this year. Um, a whole bunch of things to just try to provide a great variety and array of options for folks to sort of create their custom path through what I refer to as all the goodness to whatever most meets their and, needs. And on, uh, I guess we call that the exhibit floor. We spotted a whole section of uh, colleges providing information for undergraduate students. Yeah, perfect, uh, perfect Brilliant. example. And, and this uh, to to maybe amend the the lingo it's like a little a full bit. Circle. It is. We're we're hosting uh, uh, in conjunction with South by Edu uh, reimagined college and career fair, which you refer to as the exhibit floor. It's free and open to the public. It, you don't have to be a registrant of Edu to attend. And indeed, it's really focused on Central Texas high school kids. Sort we're of our being busted give back. in at every hour upon the hour. They're it's, all busting uh, in and having a great time. It's, it's so much really fun down exciting. There. We're expecting several thousand kids. We've got uh, you know college recruiters, community colleges, trade schools present, but. I think the other contribution we're hoping we're making is we've got high need area employers, National Instruments, Dell, uh, Lockheed, talking about what their projected employment needs are, what skills they're hungry for, because we think it's important that kids you know, help find their passion uh, and what engages them. And there's a path to success for them, but it's their path. And, and so we're hoping we can kind of help introduce them to some options that and resonate. And they have to know that the path actually exists. Exactly, Excellent. exactly. Well, Ron, thank you very, very much. This has really been fabulous. Oh, beyond have, fabulous. Such we've been a good talking time. with uh, Ron Reed, the executive producer of South by Southwest EDU. I'm Richard Smith. I'm Caroline Crawford. Can't wait for next year's South by Southwest EDU as well, may I add. You have been so watching much. Technology Amazing. and Education Today. We are a production of the Instructional Design and Technology Program of the University of Houston, Clear Lake. And Ron Reed all. is brilliant. Bye! Thank you.